is Cardinal Sports back. And today, we head back to USC to check out the early spring game rollies. So let's go. Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Entering into the chat, we got Kalolo Tiger, a 6'7", 265-pound office alignment from Palo Alto, California. Tiger is a three-star recruit, rated as the number 43 player in the state of California by 247 Sports. He's also touted as the number 46 offensive tackle in the nation by 247 Sports. And Tiger is an interesting prospect. He just started playing football in the fall of 2023. He's a quick rising star. He was a star immediately. And when you watch his film, you can see the basketball traits. You can see the athleticism in the kid game. He an offensive tackle that's a great athlete. He just ain't an offensive tackle that's big. He's also athletic as well. And you're going to see that when we get into this kid film. The first thing I notice about Kololo when I break down his tape is he quick. He very nimble on his feet. He got very nimble feet. You could tell he understands the importance of the hand battle at the line of scrimmage. He always got his hands in a ready position, active, chopping, attacking, extending, making first contact. He displays well technique with it too. It ain't just activity. He always makes sure he lands inside the shoulders of, a, of the defender so he can control the defender and the defender don't controls him. So his technique is at a high level just to be playing one year. Who, who coached this kid? Or do this kid just got natural instinct because his technique look clean. I like how he operates the position. You know, it seemed like he been playing it for years. He's very instinctual. He got the proper body mechanics to play the position. He very agile for a tackle. I like the way he played. Even when he's standing still, he still keep his feet chopping. He still keep his feet moving. He keep his hands moving. He stay active. He ready. He be on go. And whoever coaching at his high school, the offensive line coach at his high school or the coach, whatever, they need a promotion. Maybe they need to go up to the college level for this kid to excel with his technique and development like he did just playing one year of high school football. And he got the prototype body, 6'7". He can add 30, 40 pounds easily. And as you're looking at the film, you can see he quick. You know, so I'm pretty sure when he at that weight, he's still going to be quick enough and agile enough to uh, play the tackle at, at the athletic skill set he already planning at. And he got power. Don't get mis it mixed and screwed. I know I'm talking about a lot about his agility and his athleticism. He got a mean streak, too. He acting with them hands and acting with them feet because he know if he get contact with you, get his hands on you, keep them feet chopping, he going to win. So he can add a lot of mass to his frame and he just gonna get stronger and all he gotta do is just keep developing his technique he gonna be a master because he already off to a good start like you shouldn't be able to and i'm just being honest you shouldn't be able to play the offensive tackle position the way he was playing it just as your first year you would think in the player first year he he'll have to rely on raw talent but he came in with skill and technique like what this kid got potential to be a superstar if you ask me if you never played football in your life then you play on a varsity level and you looking like how you look man i could just imagine if this kid been playing football his whole life so usc got a gym well kololo and i gotta give usc i gotta give their recruiting staff credit you know a lot of guys we don't even have a chance with because of NIL, how these guys can get big bags from Oregon and Texas A&M. 
it's a lot of recruits we ain't even got a chance with so for usc to find these gems that i feel like they finding at the three-star position like this is the gym at the three-star position of a uh, position you know this is the gym at the offensive tackle position to be rated three star to be honest with you and it's hard to find those and usc got a lot of three stars that i feel like is gems you know that's underrated for one reason or another i understand this kid i mean he only played one year of football in the high school level so when you only play one year of football it's almost impossible to be a five star or a four star Unless you a skill position player and this came in and had 100 touchdowns or 100 interceptions. You know what I'm talking about? So this kid is one of them kids y'all look out for, man. Kalola Taaga. This is a monstrous class for USC again on the offensive line. For the next couple years, USC, we gonna be good. Juju Lewis, come on down. You're going to be protected nice and have a run game. You know what I'm saying? I heard he was classified to the 25 class. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm, that sparked another conversation in my mind about the 25 class and how that's class looking. Because the 24 class is almost a wrap. But we got this kid for the 24 class, Kalolo Taaga. One of them players that would have ended up at Utah or Oregon State. And we would have been like... How we miss on him in California, you know what I'm saying? He would have been one of them, them mauling linemen in the conference that we would have been like, where he come from? You know what I'm saying? He was in California this whole time. How USC miss him? Been one of them kids that would have been like, yeah, I would have went to USC, but they never offered me. You know what I'm saying? Cause people looking at stars. But I do say, USC do select them three stars that don't have no business being three stars. You know what I'm saying? But next in the chat, it's another offensive alignment. You know, this kid right here, Kalolo, he highly skilled. He's, you know, he highly skilled. I like his technique. This other kid is a mauler. He physical. You know what I'm saying? He a physical type player. I wish I could combine these two players together, put the technique of this kid with the physicality of this kid, and you got a Hall of Famer. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about Justin Tuanu. Standing at 6'6", 290, another monster, fresh out of high school, Southern California product from Huntington Beach, California. You know, a homegrown beef eater. Tuanu was a four-star recruit. He ain't slept on. And he was rated as the number 30 player in the state of California by rivals. He is touted as the number 26 offensive tackle in the nation by 247 Sports. The first thing I noticed with Justin is his power and aggressiveness and his high physicality. If he get his arms on you or any speed or motion behind him, it's a wrap. If you wasn't a D1 prospect or the defensive line, if you wasn't somebody he was mauling over you. You was going in the dirt, period. He's 6'6", 290. He already basically at 300 out of high school with hype then link to bulk up and become more of a mauler. He one of them tackles that could seal the edge for them running backs to bounce outside. Because if he get his hands on a defender, it's game over as a D lineman playing against him. You got to swim move him or, or you better stack his shed quick because any power move is getting denied. You know what I'm saying? Your deposit is getting rejected for sure. I would like his hand game to get a little bit better. But at this point in high school, he didn't even need it. I want his hands to be a little bit more active, a little bit more choppy. I want him to emphasize more on drawing contact first, but he's so big and strong, you could get your hands on him first and it don't even matter, right? But that ain't gonna work in college. So I just want him to get his hand game right, his technique, he gonna be a beast. His agility is average, you know, he might get moved to guard. I don't know, I, you know. I'm a, you know, Carter Sports, I'm going to keep it real. Like, his agility is average, you know, but it ain't bad, though. It ain't bad at all. You know what I'm saying? He'd probably be a right tackle prospect. But you going to fit this kid somewhere on the, on the offensive line. 
You know what I'm saying? He go crack the star and mute it. Because he just too nasty with it. And I really love this kid because he understand the physicality and the man part of the, man part of the sport in the game. You know, he the type of lineman we going to need for the Big Ten for sure. For sure. But every SC fan, we know our line these last two years. We know our line, Gravy. So I'm just introducing them to the rest of the world and to the casual Trojan fans who don't know. We been lacking in high school recruiting, but not on the offensive line. We have been bringing in gym class. If these classes were just rated on offensive line, we probably have a top five classes the last two years. I swear to God, y'all better check out film on these kids. Y'all said that Elijah Page proved that. True freshman starting in the Holiday Bowl did his thing. Look like a veteran out there. Was looking like we should have had him starting all season. You know what I'm talking about? So we got JT, Justin Tuanu. We got KT, Kalolo Taaga. Two beef eaters, man. Both from the West Coast, one from the Bay, and one from Southern California. That's how we do it. From Oakland to Sacktown, the Bay Area and Backdale. You feel me? Let's haul them all in. Them wallers, we all talk about. But until then, man, I'm finna start load up. It's get about that time, man. I'm finna just go crazy over this. Y'all finna be having two or three YouTube videos a day. Y'all finna get tired of hearing this voice. You know what I'm talking about? Because this season is big. 2024 is crucial. 2024 is gonna be epic. Either way, good or bad. And these is the early enrollees from the freshman class. You know what I'm talking about? So until then, it's Carter Sports, it's Trojan City. Let's go.